Okay, we should be live now. Thank you for joining me for the stream. We're just going to do a short one. Do a couple things. We added some uh, mods to it. We're almost to the point to where we're just going to start. See, we have the auto claim block. Taking potatoes. Oh, yes. The other one is it will actually get stuff right from your boxes as long as you're close enough. Excuse me. So that's what it was as it looked into what I already have in all of my boxes. How many more we got? One more? Put her up there. There we go. Let's go ahead and repair that. Just morning now. Okay, I did uh, do a little bit more in here. Um, I did do this, and I did have these gone and try to put the drill down, and it does not work. So it has to be outside, it looks like. Um, this will be our future aquaponics room. Um, but first, let's go up. I did uh, get... Did go get some wood, and we had the stone from here, the metal. Um, still kind of morning. You know, I'd really like to get a nail gun or something. How are we doing on food? Okay, we're good on food. Okay, we got all that going. We're good on that. That. Okay. And we've got quite a bit of concrete, which will be good, as we kind of want to work on that Horde Knight base. Get it up to par. So that hopefully we'll be on when the Horde Knight comes, and Inverno won't be the only one up here having to do it. Let's do a quick harvest. Cup A, cup A, tater, tater. It does sound like we've got somebody walking around outside, but... Ooh, I wonder how that got damaged. Come here, chicken chickies. I do have... I don't know if I showed you that. I think I did the battery and everything. Um, It's not powering anything up right now. Just there. Let's put that back in there. 117 feathers and 21 eggs. Not bad, huh? Oh, it's a wolf over there. Dog's eating something under the table. What do we have? A couple diamonds. That's always good. Let's put this in my hand. We're going to need to get the... more gas made. Which is fine, because... We did just get more shale. And we'll sell those. Oops, sorry puppy.
Wrecked. Daddy's home. You get any mail? No. Nope. Okay, I think somebody's leaving those there. We're going to just leave them there for somebody else to pick up. Sounds like somebody's not happy. Like somebody ran him over or something. Is there something you need? Yeah. Hit you with a bat. 630, that's nice. Do, 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 do. You have to look because you never know what you might eat, right? Always buy the acid. Get some more lock picks. Nothing else there. Body parts. And we'll get them. Steel. Let's go ahead and get them. I got a little extra. Um. All right. Now that we're well, done doing business, you can't just dis disappointed me there, buddy. Wonder where he went. What are you doing over there, Gracie? That's my dog's name. By the way, it's Gracie. stuff right here for now. What are you doing? You're being goofy. She's attacking her bed. She's attacking her bed back there, which, you know, she wants my attention. She thinks we need to play. We won't be on this for very long, and then we can play. Okay, let's go work on this. Or night base. Do I have any cobblestone? I did. Okay. Get this all up. I see pies. Which tells me if she's this needy for my attention, which she will get, don't, don't be wrong. Um, I would guess she was left home alone most of the day while I was at work. Okay. We're going to clear this away back here. Excuse me, so that... Not right now, but... Okay, and this will be the floor. And we might actually swing out with it, because that's what I'd like to do. What is the green light from? And now there's a red light. Red and green, red and green. Okay, is it just this tree blown in the wind? See if this is it. If not, it could be uh, lightning bug bugs. I don't know.
We better make some more frames too. Drop. Frames. Make about another 200 of them. Okay. All right, here it is. There's a firefly dump. And there's fireflies flying around. So when that tree, oh, that's okay. We still got some uh, good stuff. So I did start recording my newest series today. Um, not going to really drop much about it, because with the way work is, I need to get way ahead on my episodes. That way, if I can't record for several weeks, um, they're already done. And I'd like to take the time to actually edit them so that they're good, too. Good dog went to slower to lay down. I'll have to play with her as soon as I'm done here. I'd like to get this rained out. Oh, so it'll let me actually... I don't have steel with me, but it'll use it from the boxes because we're close enough. That's kind of interesting. See? I guess that's kind of nice. I could leave all these supplies downstairs when I come work on this. We got two points to spend. Real quick. Because we can't go any further than that. Can we now? No. Nope. Gotta be level 8. Okay. So. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So like that. One second. What do you got? Huh? Get on your bones? Oh, what are you chewing on over there? Oh, yeah, you got your bone. Look at those claws. Yeah, look at those I'll be over there in a second, okay? Well, not a second, but. Okay, so let's get this part framed in. And see, I like to build these. Oh, hey, Tom Solo. How you doing? Uh, working on a Fortnite base. I was about to say, I like to make these a little bit bigger. So that multiple people can come and join if they want to. Tom so asked how uh, me and the family's doing because I haven't set this up to have the chat work yet. I do have a way to do that too. Doing pretty good. Everybody's a little tired. Everybody's a little cold now that we got winter sticking in because we got snow hitting. I would guess it's probably still pretty warm over where you're at. How are you and your family doing? If you hear the squeaking in the background, that's a guinea pig.
Tom Solo said it, it, it is warm where he's at, but it's starting to get a little windy. Okay, so that's what we want there. Hey, Firestar, how are you? Here, let's see. Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 34 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for snowy weather with a low of 34 degrees. A little bit warmer tonight. Snow and uh, oh, 34. I think we want to go one more out. Well, hello, lady. Oh, we got a whole crowd. Oh, well, how's this guy hit me? Click, click, boom. Everybody wanted to come join the party. Hello, big mama. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I asked in, in game. Oh, we got a little crawler somewhere. I asked in game, but uh, she's actually up on top of my mantle for the fireplace. All right. Back to the building. Oh, have they? I, we didn't turn them up or anything, but... I'll come back and fill all this up and do that, hopefully, once I have a nail gun. Yeah, they keep us company, as Tom Solo said. Okay. And that one's going to come out like that. This one will be the same. Just like that. Let's go ahead and peel these down so we make sure to get in here to get all these. Good. I'm glad it. Uh, Firestar said that this uh, incarnation of our server is much better and there's never a dull moment.
So I think to fix the chat issue, I either have to download software to do it, which I don't really want to add more software that I'm using, um, or, um, sorry, brainstorming too, or go to Streamlabs, OBS Streamlabs, which is good. Um, I've used them before. A little bit more complicated than just OBS Studio. But that's a good thing. That's why it has the options we want. So, Tom Solo, I have to ask you, have you given up the game or just haven't had time? So just like that. Uh, Tom Solo says he just doesn't have the time. Understandable. So just like that. Um, says he got to wait for the school break um, for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it would be nice if they finish it. Instead of making changes to where the things that you like in the game get broken. Not that I'm upset or anything. My favorite mapping pro our mapping tool doesn't work anymore and let's put that there so we can jump across. I mean they can still add things to the game when they're done too. You know, you can always add more content, but Good. I hope you find time to get to play it. Says so both for Christmas and turkey time. So just like that. See what this is going to be is. So if there's more people, we're going to have a center piece come out here that the zombies will come up to attack, and so you can have three people there, or. You can have people off to the sides doing it too. Um. Mm. But I like to put electric fences going across too. So we'll see once we get there. Can't remember how he did it. I have to get the electric fences and do it. Because I've kind of done this design before. A little bit smaller on the sides, but Averno would remember this one. Okay, I like it. We had another person on the server then, too, and I wasn't getting too many of mine, so I drove over and caused trouble at theirs. Okay, so just like that. I'm going to put that there for now. And then... I said, we'll get rid of that, and we're going to make it like a pit base around it, too.
And then this one's going to actually be the center pole. No. I think I did before. It's like that. Get out of there. No, I actually didn't test the posters yet. Um, we actually had um, Firestar make a couple mods by request. Or tweak some mods by request. And uh, I think the issue I had was that they weren't... Um, the server didn't restart for some reason. Here, let's... We'll turn on creative here real quick. I think that's all of them, right? Here, let's go back. Uh, before I forget, let me turn off creative. Okay. No, that, that's awesome. Here, oops. Oh, that's true. Tom Solo says the fun pimps are such fun blockers now. Okay. So these are the posters. I asked her if she could add them. And these are the posters that... Um, Firestar tweaked. To work in-game. I mean, isn't that just awesome? Okay, nothing against them. Just drop these so I don't scrap them or anything like that so you can see that. And let me make another 200 frames. Okay. I mean, that's awesome, isn't it? So now we've got all these in-game. So we've got my logo for this channel. We've got Fire Stars. we got Jimmy's Crab Shack, home with a $1 lobster. Because he doesn't want you to eat crabs. We have a Vernos with the Cerebrus. And then my other channel, the Tree Walker. Awesome job. Those are really neat. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you so much, Firestar. Here, let's... Trying to remember what button it is. Okay, there, I got a screenshot of that. They do look great. I am winding a little bit, though. I need to go get this area laid out. By winding, I mean um, getting up and doing stuff and then working today. I am about out of juice. Okay, so you do this. And copy shape. Okay, so you do that. No, no, 
no, no, wrong hand. And then you double up on it. Just in case something happens. And that's not going to how the end is. We'll change that. But just in case one of those breaks. And now they come up. And you get them. And then they fall off down to here. And then they have to run over. And like I said, we'll finish that out. I think I got a mouse in the wall. I've been wanting that for a long time, but for some reason my brain just doesn't like to uh, um, learn some programming. I used to be into programming so much. It's just not coming through that great. And... Firestar offered to give it a try because she wants to learn how to program and do things like that because she's working on a game that, of course, we will play. And once she's done and ready for it, we'll play it and put it on the... Oh, let's go ahead and, and put it on the channel if she'll let us. Get these ready. We don't want to put metal on them. That's okay. Um, Firestar said the game may take some time. You do it when you can. And you do it to your liking. So that the product is what you envision it. I'm actually working on a couple projects myself, but a lot of them revolve around me getting my shed organized and cleaned out. And by shed, it's like a workshop. Um, when I lost my last job and went unemployed for a little while, um, I decided to redo my my house and sell it. As a, me and the old lady have been living together for like nine years now almost. And, uh, unfortunately, all of my stuff that was in my garage got shoved into my shop over here. And the fog rolls in. So it's still in boxes and sitting there, and I need to kind of fix it. But I do have a laser engraver and CNC router machine out there. So I got some ideas for some fun things to do. And business things. Um, some of them are game related for like RPGs and that. So there's basically, I mean, we're going to come back and do some other stuff, but they'll come up, bloop, which I'll probably put, just do it now. Right, right. Um, wedge. Like that. So now they... Perfect for him. Indeed. Because I don't want to be working where I'm at forever. And if you'd heard on the Tree Walker Talks podcast... I have a five-year plan. I want to have land up north. Now, I'm not thinking I'm going to be moved up there by then. The thing is, I live in Ohio. Northwest Ohio. I don't mind Northwest Ohio. But the land prices here are so expensive, it's not even funny. Um, so, like, um, just for instance, it's... Yeah, I like the chat. They're talking about her making a game for the tree walker. Um, for 60 acres outside of town, it is by a factory whirlpool. So it's, it's a little bit higher, but it's just trees and farmland. 
66 acres. I think it's like 1.2 million. Um, up in Michigan, 66 acres, depending on where it's at, that's about as developed as that, I could get for probably about 40,000. Um, I found a piece up there that is super nice. I think it was like 100, 143 acres. Um, no, it was 280 acres. And it was $134,000. That's it came up to about 500 acres, what it was. And there's just so much you could do with that land. You know, even if you put some just um, rustic cabins, like you can get those barns everywhere, you know, the sheds like my workshop, and make them into cabins, and you could Airbnb them out. Yeah, Fire says that's crazy expensive. Yeah, I mean, the land down here, even just any more getting a couple acres is hard. I mean, it, for what a couple acres you could get down here, which, like I said, it's hard to even find. Up there, I could get uh, 60-some acres. I mean, the old lady did like... No, it's not haunted. Um... That's up in the UP, uh, Upper Peninsula in Michigan. So a lot of times there isn't electricity there. Um, and they get heavy snow. But there is, if you ever go on Zillow and look in the UP, there is all sorts of big tracts of land for sale for very decent price. Just down here, there isn't. But there's a house the old lady approves of. Um, and it would make a great house. It's... Because I look at what I do here with half acre that we have. And I could do a lot with just a couple acres. And the house is for sale in an area just outside where she works. Called Bowling Green, Ohio. Um, and it's $400,000. But it's three and a half acres. And it's like a 2,800 square foot house. Two car garage. Fenced in area in the backyard with a pool and a hot tub. And it's just, you know... It's got all the enemies, but that 400000 price tag, ugh. Yeah, the snow, Tom, because a lot of the roads up there, they don't plow in the winter. Like right now, a lot of the roads are all closed down. There was one house up there, completely off-grid. Um, they were asking a million, which is actually quite a bit for what it was. But you could drive it in warm months, but in the winter... Um, it was right on one of their actual snowmobile trails for the state. So you could take snowmobiles and get to it if you really wanted to get to it. But No, it's really not bad for the area, Firestar, for the, in Bowling Green. Especially that big of a house and that much acreage. It's outside of town, so you could do what you want with the land. But the house is just immaculate. I mean, the house is nice. Where we're at, I'm considered in town here, so that puts a lot of stipulations on things I can do, so. Plus, I can't pee off my porch, the neighbors would complain. I think that's kind of a must. Yeah, Firestar said, complete isolation reminds me of a few movies, laugh out loud. See, and that's the thing is, um, I'm more introverted, where I'm okay staying home. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Tom. Great seeing you and talking to you again. Like I was saying, uh, I'm okay not leaving the property. So to me, I want to have property that I don't feel like I need a vacation from and animals and everything to take care of. You too, Tom. Take care. Um, to where the old lady likes to be more in the center of things and doing stuff. Yeah, see, I got to talk with people. I'm like, oh, I'll do this later when I get a nail gun.
Hmm. I completely agree with Firestar. She said she's more of a... Um, she likes the isolation, too. She's more of a homebody. I tell you, I look at properties sometimes like if I won the lotto. And a couple years ago, there was this place out in... I think it was Colorado. And I can't even think of the name of the national park that's there. But it was a big acreage, kind of like horse farm type thing. But it had... You owned... There was like two mountains that almost came together. But there was a V. And you owned both sides of that V and the V. And it went right up to a big river there. And the other side of the river that you didn't own was part of that national park. And it was just so gorgeous. I'm like, man, if you could wake up to that every day, why would you ever leave? And that's what the old lady said. She goes, if you had that, you'd never leave. You wouldn't go on vacation. I said, no. I said, my vacation would be going out back and climbing up the mountains and stuff. See, and I always think, oh, if I win the lotto, I should get a house in Florida and a house here. But I want animals. And you can't be a snowbird with animals. I don't know. I can't remember. It was a, long, it was a while ago. I don't think it's for sale anymore. I think I still have it on my list. Um, I can't think of the name. Gla was it Glacier National Park or something like that? I think that's where it was. I kind of want to get this around the bottom done a little bit. Just so that if we get attacked again while we're over here, they're not going to blow out my... Um, brains. What if we're using all the cement from our pockets? Okay. So we're using cobblestone from somewhere else, too. <laughs> Which isn't bad. Like I said, just leave it there. I'll look and see if it's still on my save list once I'm done here. If so, I'll share it up in Discord. Shameless plug, you should join Discord to see the properties that I talk about in the video. Yeah, it's actually pulling stuff from my boxes, Firestar, because of the, that mod. So you actually don't have to have them as long as you're so f close to your boxes, it'll pull it right out of there. Get this because they walk right up to this one. Getting there. Like I said, we got a little bit more clearing to do on the, the pit side too, but if we just clear this area out, then we could actually use it if we have to. But they can't actually get up into here and bang on the side of the walls. So you think it's like a 30 block range, huh? And we do have the automatic repair block too, mod in. Did you get them downloaded and put on your computer yet or not? I like to build up the corners that way. There's stability there too. So in case people don't know that automatic repair block, you set it down kind of like a land claim. And you put your materials into repair, and it will automatically repair every so often your base.
I've never played with them either. We tried them in the last one, but for some reason it wouldn't work. And then now, I think it's because they had a bad bug for multiplayer. But now it looks like it works. Just think, if I had found a nail gun, we could have been done already. That's okay. I don't mind it. And I'm not saying that people need to drop me a nail gun or that. I'd rather you didn't. But. I'll show it to you here in a second. Get this one more row done. I think uh, we're going to call her. Okay, so starting to look good, starting to take shape. Yeah, let's just put these in. Starting to take shape. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Okay, we don't have the fuel for them right now. Ooh, some, some good metal there. And we're out in there, right? Yep, okay. Almost nighttime. Take this all except for... Okay. Close the hatch. See, it doesn't matter what I build. I think I always put it. Oh, I guess. I don't know how many blocks it has. She says, wow, it looks like you're more than 30. Boy, those posters look nice. They even look like they've got lights on them. Like they're almost like uh, um, neon or something. That's kind of neat. Well, here, let's make. Oh, there is three more there. I might take those back up. But we also have, let's make some logs. The one where it automatically should um, turn off your stuff when you're done. When it's done creating things, it should turn it off. Here, let's drop that. Drop that. Oh, I thought I had more. We're going to put some sand in there so we can make some water. We're going to put this sand in here. This is kind of nice. I guess I don't have to put it in there anymore. It should pull it right out of the... Out of here when I need it. Put the clay in. I'll put those in this in building. Okay, let's... Come on, come on, two more. Okay, so we'll put those ten in there. And I need... Right there. Make six more. And we'll put this in here. Anything in here? Some clay. We need to put other stuff in there too. Here, let's put that in there. Let's make some more logs. Let's go put some food in here. Doot, 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 doot. 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 
doot. Yeah, I always have to organize things. I'm horrible that way. Coal. What's that doing in there? Put the rest of the oil shale in there. That goes up there. Ammo. Goes in there. Okay, so everything's getting made there. Go up and give our drill some gas. So, oops. Give our drills some gas. Eh, just give me one of those. Murky water needs to go down. Oh, that was in there for a reason. No, it wasn't. Let's go ahead. Drink a coffee. Yucca juice. And that. We'll eat food. Eat another one of those. There we go. Let those drills get a drilling. Did I make anything? Nope. Okay. Okay, so here's that claim auto repair. Um, it does take quite a bit. Um, so we need actually more car batteries. Which we could actually make, I think. But robotics parts is what we need. And then that would automatically make stuff. Okay. What do we need for the nail gun? What does it unlock with? Repair with a repair kit. Scrap. Advanced engineering. Get the next one. Shotgun. SMG. So it has to be this one. Learn to craft shotgun, turn short range, battery banks, and nail guns. So yes. We have two. So we need one more point and then we'll get it. A nice area in here. I don't know what we're going to do with this. And I might actually just open it up all the way back to here, just like this one is. So we have another wall. And we can go that way if we have to, but. My underground complex. I haven't even got the top built. Man, those look nice, don't they? She did an awesome job. Awesome. I thought maybe you would use a actual picture of Averno that he shared in Discord that one time. Okay. We're going to go up top so that we start off right on the next one. We're about to call her a day. And it is night. Let's get real quiet. See who spawned in. It doesn't look like anybody spawned in. 
just stalling now to try to give Firestar a chance to come back. There's a mushroom down there, it looks like. Zed hunting. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm about to call the night. Where's our moon? No moon tonight because of the clouds. That's kind of a neat picture. Okay. Well, I need to get around and get ready for bed and to sit and play with the dog a little bit before. Otherwise, she'll be horrendous at trying to get to go to sleep. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on the next one. Sorry I had to leave when you were away, Firestar. Posters look awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving.